Um, I think for me, being on the blind audition stage was a nervous that I had never felt before. You know, you're singing for your life, but the battle stage after that performance, man, hearing Blake and Usher say Deshaun's name, yes, I was mortified that I had just blown it and I was going to be going home. So that was just, that was so nerve wracking as well. How, what, what type was it? More relief when she, when Shakira says she's picking you up? It was relief, but also shock because, to be honest, I thought Deshaun had it. You know, I was, I had built myself up to go home just then hearing his name be mentioned twice by the coaches. Um, so, yeah, it was definitely relief, but shock more than anything. And so it just kind of was a reality check that, man, okay, I really, I, I did this and I can do this. So I'm, I'm here to stay. At last time we spoke, you said you got kind of close to your other teammates. Uh, how bad is it to, to see Deshaun go home? Because you know, no one stole him. Yeah, I mean, we... <clears throat> the contestants on The Voice become a family. You know, we spend every waking minute together, whether you're on the same team or you're not on the same team. Um, and especially for gearing up to the battle, Deshaun and I got so close. I mean, you could see the chemistry on stage and that was real. And so having to, to say goodbye to him was not easy, you know, especially because he's such a good heart and soul and I consider him a dear friend now. So while I'm sad that He's no longer on the show. I know that we're going to be friends, and, and I'll talk to him. I'll see him soon. So what, what's the next step now? Um, so the next step is the next round. Um, I really can't share too, too much, but um, you can expect to see some twists in the uh, plot line. Um, and I'm just really excited. You know, it's another opportunity for me to showcase who I am as an artist and a singer um, and hopefully make it to the playoffs. How much are you learning from Shakira through this process? Man, Shakira has been honestly an incredible coach. She really is in tune with um, the industry and being a female pop artist, that's something that I'm looking to her for advice on and coaching on. Um, I really think she understands me and I'm so grateful for that. So I'm just learning a ton. You know, she's coaching me on not only vocal technique, but also, you know, my confidence and, and really letting my strength shine. I know you said you talked to Sean and wanted. Did you think he did well? Did you think he had a good performance? Oh my God, Deshaun killed it. His voice is insane. You know, when we were up there singing, you know, you're obviously listening to the other artists to see, are they going to mess up or are they going to nail their part? And you're, you're feeding off that energy. And the whole time he was consistent and steady. And I remember just feeding off of that energy, knowing that it was going to be a tough decision for Shakira because yeah, I, I, I think he, I think he nailed it. And I think we both did an awesome job. Next round, you pick your own song, right? Um, this coming round, yes and no. I really can't say. Okay. <laughs> uh, what else did I want to ask? Oh, who's this? The outfit everyone wears. What was that? The outfit everyone wears during the show. Yeah. Do you guys pick those, or just, it's, is, is there some kind of set designer person who's, who's picking those out? Yeah, so um, voice wardrobe is insane there are some amazing designers who we work with and we collaborate with it's definitely a mixture of the pieces that you know they pull for you and they try to um you know showcase you best in but then it's also a mixture of our own style and flavor you know we have these sessions where we bring in some pieces of our own and we mix and match it with pieces that are shopped for us so it's really it's a really cool experience that whole part you know playing dress up for every performance and even every rehearsal is is really awesome you keep that stuff or to go back in the, in the, in the wardrobe um, it depends. I think it's, you know, if you really, really love a piece and you own it, you can convince them to let you keep it. But there are, uh, there's certain rules, but they, they kind of bend them a little for the contestants. Uh, so you don't know when you're on next time. I know you can't say much about that show, but uh, we're in for uh, at least a week or two of, of the other battles, right? Yeah, so the next round, I believe, starts um, March 31st, the week of March 31st. 
you have to you have to wait almost a month before you can tell anyone what happened again. Oh my gosh, it's torture. I just want everybody to know. Um, but more than anything, I'm just so excited for everyone to hear, you know, all the hard work I've been putting into the show and all these rounds. So I'm really stoked for, for what's to come. What kind of reaction are you getting from people after you won, after you won this battle? Oh man, it's awesome. The my inboxes are all flooded. My social media channels are like going insane and I am loving it. Um it's never been like this before and so I'm just like rapidly trying to respond to everybody and it's just so cool. Um everyone is so supportive and you know, my family and friends from all over the country really, um, here in LA, but also, you know, back in the Northeast in New York and even Pennsylvania, Connecticut, like it's just, it's insane. You know, people also responding to me, um, like other artists and musicians saying how inspiring it is to watch me. And, you know, that's just, it's humbling. And it's just so, I'm so grateful to have been given this platform to, you know, show the world my, my artistry and my voice because I'm really already starting to make connections with all these amazing people and just forming such a tighter, closer bond with my family and friends through it all.